Back here this morning at the storage place. I'm going to be working in between the first two buildings today. Scraping down, scraping up all this rock. Then I'll come in here with the grader and or the dozer and cut our swell back in between these units. As you can tell, it's been filled within about, oh, two inches to less than two inches of the floor. So what I need to do is scrape all this out and be able to cut it down enough where I can get four inches of ABC crush and run in here to build a good solid base. Cause you can tell there's still sinkholes over here where it got disturbed and everything. But it's not horrible, just need to take all this rock out and then come in here and grade it out and then put our ABC stone back in here. We'll take the mini and pull all the rock up away from the buildings and let's keep it up this gets dirty. So there's a reason why I'm using the mini instead of like the grader to pull this rock out and the main reason is it's only about 20 feet wide in between here and the rock only goes about you know 16 foot wide and there's a lot of dirt and everything at the sides and if I come in here with the grader with a 10 foot mold board you know, it's going to start pulling up a lot of that dirt and trying to keep the rock relatively clean so we can use it in health places. And, uh, you know, it's a little more nimble to come in here and kind of rip this up with a mini and separate it because some spots the rock might be two inches deep, some in the spot it might be four inches deep. And this allows me to kind of cut those areas out the grader that would kind of get up a, a more uniform pass and rip the rock out and the dirt so it's actually packed really hard right here so i don't think the grader really would have done anything anyways the skid steer surely won't dig it up we've already tried so that's why i'm sitting here scraping away and once i get some piles in Got all the rock stripped out in between these two row of buildings. And I'm gonna get on the grader, come down here and start cutting the swell back in. Tim's getting the rock I raked up and stockpiling it so we can reuse it in other places. park this, get on the grader, see what I can do about getting the swell put in there. Scraped up a fair amount of rock. We got that pile and that pile over there.
you just simply lay a level up on the frame, you can really carry a pretty good little slope. As long as that bubble know kind of where your grade is, you can watch the bubble on that level. So right now I'm kind of flat. I'm trying to get a nice little valley in between these uh, storage units. So now I get up right here where I just made a pass. See how that, I don't know if you can see it, but that bubbles all the way to the right. Well, that means that this side's lower and that's what I'm looking for. If I can keep that bubble peg to the right, I know that I have positive drainage all the way down.
I got my swale rough graded in in between these two buildings to get good fall all the way down. So this is the subgrade. I got to bring in four inches of ABC and put on top of it. But as you can tell, I got a nice little swell in here. Hopefully you can see it on camera. Um, I'm coming here with the mini and the worst part is it looks horrible because when they poured the concrete, they got all this over pour and you can't get a nice straight edge down here, but I'll cover it up to the top of it with ABC and blend it in. You can't really run the grater down there. You hit it and it'll almost throw you into the buildings. So I got this swelled out so it'll drain. There's almost a foot of fall from in between the building and the bottom of the swell here which by the time I put the stone in here that'll raise it up to about eight inches but these are the aggravating spots right here where the buildings stair step down a foot you know when you're sitting here trying to cut this out you won't uh, you know get eight or ten inches of fall and it stops down and it drops down a foot so you almost have a 20 inch to two foot drop from that corner of the building to here and it just it's a pain in the butt to grade and not make it look horrible I mean you see how that's kind of raised up but but you don't want water to run into that building right there so you got to have this lower than than that and you know it drops a foot within about a foot so a little aggravating but ain't the end of the world so we're just waiting on some rock I'm gonna go ahead and cut out in between these two buildings here I'll show you real quick while I'm walking around like I did over here probably took out a good dump truck load or more because this had to be cut down enough where I could get drainage away from this building and that building's a foot higher than this one so as you can see right here it don't look bad but all the water is going to run directly into that building so I got to cut it down about eight or ten inches right there where the mini's at to be able to get drainage so that water will run either left or right of this building or a mixture of both I kind of got this where it'll run towards that ditch
that you saw I cut a bunch of material out of here I had to come back in here with the mini and I had to take out two or three more inches up there against the side of the building it was just easier to pull it out with that so I got this graded water will come down hit a little bit of a swell I'll kind of build it up and then drain over to this ditch over here and drain out to the front as well so I'm gonna hop on the roller real quick and roll this in got stone on the way so we got all the rock pulled away from the building on this side as well got it stockpiled and had to cut out some wet down there just got the first load of stone so I'm gonna come over here with the grater and knock it down he was able to tailgate spread some of it well with all of it but stuff's kind of wet so I, I'm gonna have him run a load down each side of the swale that way if he just ran one down the center it would fill in the swale and make it very difficult to grade back so I'm gonna take the grader and row it up there next to the building blend it in one load down many more to go that spread in there nice though. He tailgate spreads it like that, one on each side. All you gotta do is just pretty much run down the edge with your foot, kick that down and roll it in.
So I got all the stone spread out and graded down through here with the grader. So now all that needs to be done is rolled in. I've come down here and kicked down any little windrows or anything up against the building. So pretty much got a swell in the center. It doesn't look like it would be that hard to grade, but it was a nightmare just because the, the swell is the easy part, but it's these step downs as these buildings are terraced going down the hill. So as you can tell, the swell is steeper there. Then when you drop down 12 inches, it pretty well flattens out again. And trying to run down there with the grader and make those uh, modifications on the blade as I'm running up and down is a little bit of a pain in the butt. But I got it, so I'm gonna go hop on the roller and roll this in. Call this good. This should drain nice and neat. Got three, nice and good. Should have three feet of fall from the front all the way to the back back here. And it's probably about, oh, in the deepest part, almost 10 inches of fall in the swell. Obviously it flattens out a little bit because it stair steps down 12 inches, but it's still got a swell right there and then it picks up again. If Tim will quit making a mess of my fine grading. Let them spread a little bit. Good progress today. Got a lot of stone put down. Got some dirt laid back there with the excavator. Tim's getting this rolled in. Not to grade that out a little better, but oh, this is pretty well done. You can see the nice swell in between the buildings. Got all the stone put in today and graded out and over there and all I got to do is they got a trench power and run the septic line back here so I'm not gonna put I got to finish putting stone around here once I get that done no need to put that down until they are done digging up everything because they'll just mix dirt all in there with it but this is what everything's gonna look like when it's done